This is an introductory video to provide an overview of Bow River Sim, designed to bring an inclusive space for discussion supported by scientific tools. Bow River Sim is a serious game developed by Alberta Environment and Parks to raise awareness about how natural systems work, gathering stakeholders in a collaborative environment in order to make the best decisions for a shared vision of water management. Serious games provide a way for stakeholders to understand the issues and constraints on a real-world system in a visual and engaging way. Serious gaming is being used in the academic world to explore complex issues. And we expect serious games to have a big impact on how we train the workforce of tomorrow, a new generation that have grown up with social media, visual interactions, and collaboration. The Bow River Sim game simulates river flows and water use through the Bow River Basin. This includes the tributaries inflow from the Elbow and Highwood Rivers, the City of Calgary and its Glenmore Reservoir, various reaches along the Bow River, and the water irrigation districts that are downstream. The Bow River joins with the Oldman River to form the South Saskatchewan River. Underlying the game is the Water Resources Management Module, or WRMM. The WRMM is a computer program that Alberta Environment and Parks developed over decades to support water resource management planning. Bow River Sim displays the inputs and outputs from the actual WRMM program. So, despite the gamified interface, when one uses the game they can simulate real-world scenarios. The goal of Bow River Sim is for those who play the game to better understand how this system works in order to make better water management decisions. Bow River Sim has three modes, WRMM mode, Tutorial mode, and Challenge mode. The first is the WRMM mode, in which a user may adjust numerous variables and then run the model to see the results. Input conditions from the years 1928 to 2001 are available for simulation in the WRMM mode, so one can view data for each water stakeholder in the system by year. Data is expressed by volume as well as flow rate. Graphs are also generated, showing weekly data for each stakeholder. The second mode, Tutorials, provides two step-by-step -step tutorials that help the player understand water management concepts and the mechanics of gameplay. The Water Concepts tutorial introduces the role of inflows, minimum flows, the Glenmore Reservoir, irrigation districts, and apportionment outflow. The tutorial also introduces the concept of consumptive versus non-consumptive water demands. The How to Play tutorial introduces piece by piece how to operate the game in WRMM mode. Users are required to perform certain actions to progress in the tutorial. This tutorial covers navigation, interpreting data, finding and changing sliders, and finding and changing the model's priority or penalty structure. The tutorials are led by Wheaton, a friendly stock of wheat. The third mode is Challenge Mode. Challenge Mode provides users with a specific goal to be achieved through water management. For example, in the Reservoir Challenge, users are instructed to reach a score of 98%, while being restricted to adjusting only the Glenmore Reservoir's capacity and maximum levels. Challenges help to aid in learning about the model by structuring play limiting the complexity of the system and providing goals that require insight into the model to achieve. Adopting the challenge approach is a great way to learn about the model, even after the user has progressed through the tutorials. Users are encouraged to go through the model one slider at a time to learn what effect it has on the system. So, what does success look like in Bow River Sim? At a high level, the goal is to understand how water management decisions affect the whole region. To gain this understanding, players should strive for each water stakeholder to receive 100% or more of their requested water amount when the model runs. The water priority table on the left of the screen, with its green and red percentages, is a constant reminder of the success or failure of water management decisions that were made. There are also visual clues of success on the game board. These include the shape and color of crops and various emoji faces. For example, when one of the irrigation districts is fully supplied, all its corresponding crops will display the happy emoji. When there is a water shortage, the water will be allocated according to the first-in-time, first-in-line principle. 
This means that one crop will be fully watered before the next crop can be watered, and so on, until the water runs out. Crops with the happy emoji have received most of their requested water. Crops with the unhappy emoji have only received a portion of their requested water, and crops with the dead-faced emoji have received no water. By developing a serious game, Alberta Environment and Parks has taken a novel approach to engage water stakeholders in the Bow River Basin. Bow River Sim is developed by Alberta Environment and Parks, AEP, in collaboration with BGC Engineering. The game is not yet available for distribution. For further details on this project, please go to alberta.ca contact.